the Fibonacci sequence 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, etc. is got by doing 0 plus 1, which is 1, 1 plus 1, which is 2, 2 plus 3, which is 5, 5 plus 8, which is 13, and then so on. So it carries on 21, 34, 55, and uh, 89. It is defined by the recurrence relation that u0 is equal to 0, u1 is equal to 1, and then u to n will be u to the n minus 1 plus uh, u to the n minus 2 for n greater or equal to 2. Prove that the general formula of the sequence un is 1 over root 5 brackets 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus root 5 over 2 to the power of n. OK, this is quite a hard question, probably wouldn't come up in an exam. U1... U0 is equal to 0, U1 is equal to 1, and then Un is equal to U to the n minus 1 plus Un minus 2. OK, the proposition is that Un is 1 over root 5 times 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the power of n minus 1 minus root 5 over 2 to the power of n. OK, so we're going to prove true for n is equal to 0. We're going to expect to get the answer 0 when we put it in here. So u of 0 will be 1 over root 5, 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the power of 0, minus 1, over, uh, 1 minus root 5 over 2 to the power of 0, which gives me 1 over root 5, 1 minus 1, because that's, uh, that's 1 and that's 1, which will give me 0, therefore true for n is equal to 1. We'll prove true for uh, n is equal to 1. So this will give me u1 is 1 over root 5, 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the power 1, minus 1, minus root 5 over 2 to the power 1. So that will be a common denominator, which is 1 plus root 5, minus 1 plus root 5, and the 1s will cancel out. So we get 1 over root 5 times 2 lots of root 5 over 2. The root 5s are cancel out, the 2s are cancel out, and we're left with 1, therefore true for n is equal to 1. We're going to assume true for n is equal to k minus 1 and k minus 2. So k, u to the uh, k minus 1 will be 1 over the square root of 5 times 1 plus root 5 over 2 k minus 1 minus 1 minus root 5 over 2 k minus 1. And u to the k minus 2 will be 1 over root 5, 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the k minus 2, minus 1 minus root 5 over 2, k to the minus 2. Right, now we're going to prove true for n is equal to uh, k. So uk is going to be uk minus 1, uh, uk minus 2. We're going to do k because uh, we've uh, shown that the previous two terms are true. So the next term in the sequence is uk. So that will become 1 over root 5 times 1 plus uh, root 5 over 2 to the k minus 1, uh, 1 minus root 5 over 2 to the k minus 1, substituting for uk to the minus 1, plus 1 over root 5, 1 over root 5 over 2 to the k minus 2, minus 1 over root 5 over 2 to the k minus 2, substituting for u to the k minus 2. Right, that's 1 over root 5. OK, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to match up these. So these two will be added together. And then I'm going to subtract uh, 1 over root 5 to the k minus 1 and 1 over root 5 to the k minus 2. These will be added if you put this bracket in here. And that becomes a minus sign. Just pause the video there if you're not sure. OK, so if we take out a common factor of 1 over root 5 over 2 to the k minus 2 from here, that will leave a 1 over root 5 to the power of 2. Because if you multiply that in, you'll add 1. So it becomes k to the minus 1. And because you've taken that out, that becomes 1. So I'll just repeat that. If you were to multiply that back, you'll get k minus 2 plus 1, which is what we had here, 
And if you multiply that one by that, you'll get that. So basically, I've factorized out a 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the k minus 2. Similarly, over here, I've done the same sort of thing. I've taken out 1 minus uh, root 5 over 2 to the k minus 2 and got a similar result as over here. Just pause the video if you're not sure about that, but it's been factorized. So that will be 1 over root 5 times 1 over root 5 over 2 uh, to the k minus 2. Making a common uh, denominator here, we're going to get 1 plus root 5 plus 2 over 2. And similarly, over here, we're going to get 1 minus root 5 over 2 over 2. I'm going to multiply the top and bottom here by 2 over 2. And the same here. So this will become 1 over root 5, uh, 1 plus root 5 over 2 to the k minus 2. Uh, this will be 1 plus 2, which is 3, which will now become 6. This is root 5, it will now become 2 root 5, because you multiply the top by 2, and you multiply the 2 by 2, which gives me 4. And similarly, the same idea here. OK, writing that line out again. And changing the 4 to 2 squared. Now, 1 plus root 5 squared is 1 plus 2 root 5 plus 5. Which is equal to 6, 2 root 5. So I'm going to re re replace 6 plus 2 root 5 with 1 plus root 5 squared. And similarly here, same idea, 1 minus root 5 will be 1 minus 2 root 5 plus 5. And that will become 6 minus 2 root 5. So my expression now becomes 1 over root 5, which is 1 plus root 5 to the k minus 2 times 1 plus root 5 all squared. And the it's all squared because the 2 will be squared as well. So just check, look, I've replaced that with that. And the same idea here. This becomes 1 minus root 5 over 2 all squared, using this idea here. This is equal to that. And it, the square goes from the 2 because I put the square here. Right, so that gives me 1 over root 5, 1 plus root 5 to the k, because when you combine these two, it's k minus 2 plus 2. And here you get 1 minus root 5 k uh, minus 2 plus 2, which is k which is true, therefore, then, for n is equal to k. Right, we just need to write down the conclusion. So, the formula works for n is equal to 0 and n is equal to 1. And if it's true, works for n is equal to k minus 2 and n is equal to k minus 1, then it also works for n is equal to k. Therefore, the formula works for or n po positive integers by the principle of ma mathematical induction. A few corrections here. Formula. And we seem to have got something a bit extra there. Okay, so this has been a uh, proof of the general formula of Fibonacci's uh, sequence for the re recurrence formula. I hope you've understood. Uh, d don't expect to have to do this in an exam, though. Okay, thank you very much for watching.